JTV Crew Salute Now today we're finna be checking out an artist called B Mike Song we call Story of Erica Story type rap I'm taking it We have hit up B Mike I think once before Just like Mike Harrison When it comes to meaningful songs They know how to get a message across Now this is a long video I ain't gonna do too much stalling We gonna get straight up into this bit Fuck with Ah Fair of family Crew Let's get straight in So years later I for real feel like I'm about to watch a movie bruh <laughs> Bro, I so love story rap, bro. Gets you intrigued. You never know what the story about to tell. Sometimes it's part two, part three, bro. I'm hoping if this is what I'm thinking it is, I hope there's a second part to it, bro. Come like rush hour up in this, but God damn, folks. <laughs> oh, Spanish. What the hell's going on here, bro? Prostitution? Don't push me. Damn, bro. Erica. Scenery, some nice beautiful palm trees, you know how your boy do got the boy up in the Oh bro, what part of the US is this? Hello? Hey nice. girl, what you doing? Hey girl, I'm just with Jason right now. Jason, you still hang with that bum? He treats me good. Matter of fact, he's cooking for me right now. <laughs> girl, when you gonna stop hanging with these broke ass dudes? Erica, what? Why is it always gonna be about the money? So I'm well, saying. I'm gonna take care of you then. Tell me that. I mean, my daddy buys me what I want, when I want. Bro, bro, you ladies in today's generation, bro, really do flip my freaking head. And how the fuck I want it. Believe that. These days, making love ain't been fun. Because making men come has been the only income. No. Damn, we're starting fiery bars and facts straight off the jump. Well, how are you going to take care Woo. of you then? Tell me that. I mean, my daddy buys me what I want. Making love ain't been fun Cause making men come has been the only income 21, every girl's barely 21 And for the dollar, she gon' give it up for anyone Red bottom, she gon' get the blue batons Sugar daddy, get whatever shoes she want And if you got a blue tick, she like, how you been? Bro, check me out though Like, I've seen hella lot of this in the UK, man Old folks, bro, I mean like Hey, I ain't judging, but I mean, if you love him, you love him, right? But I've seen this ish in like popular places like VIPs and ish, like an old folk, a real freaking old folk and a, a young lady. You can clearly at times see that that is just for money, bro. Like love for money, bro. I love from the heart. Ain't nothing to do with money. I'm cultural, bro. We're, I'm from way back. I grew up cultural. My parents grew me up, right? Ain't nothing to do with money. You feel me? And she even let a couple rappers hit it now and then. Hey. Boss mode, every day boss mode. Get the Gucci show, she ain't even check the barcode. But no cap, is that guy for, I swear this guy was in a movie. If you got a blue tick, she like, how you been? She even let a couple rappers hit it now and then. Boss. I swear this guy looks so familiar to me. Every day, boss mode. Get the Gucci soul, she ain't even checked the barcode. Oh shit, retail, therapy for retail. Another 
the vent. She look hella gorgeous though, hella fine, especially in her fashion. Oh my god. Mo alert in a Gmail. All the other girls wanna ball out like Erica. LA the NY Queen of America. But all of this be coming up but she is never told. Her uncle was abusing her since she was only seven years old. <laughs> Before we carry on, this seems like it's very, very deep, man. This issue is real serious. Um, I did know someone who kind of went through something, something like this, but it was a different story. She slept with her uncle. This did go on for a, quite a couple of months. Uh, dad found out when he came into the crib, saw them, you know what I'm saying? She framed him. She basically set him up and put him in jail, bro. So, I mean, this is a very, very touching subject family like what the hell are you doing man but uh this is a different situation to the story that i'm telling y'all this is something that i'm sure this girl erica could not stop from happening now this other person that i mentioned could have stopped it from happening because she was the one that started it off and set him up and put him in jail crazy shit bro hello girl what are you what you doing nothing just happened with this jet <laughs> these rappers starting to party tonight Wanna make some money? I'm on my way. Talk some, homie, talk some. That'd be the motto that your lips by the earn some. They ain't with the nonsense, with the nonsense. You think these guys have a conscience? They're barely conscious. These dudes are bonkers. Hotel suite to make it rain on Erica. She do what it take to make it pay for Erica. She only 21, then she act like a big girl. She looked him in the eye, then she winked. That's a signal. Back to, took him to the bathroom. Erica, you don't like a motherfucking vacuum. She said, wear the condoms. You better have the condoms. Ladies, you got to be careful what signs you're giving to certain guys because not every single guy's got it up here, you know. Say I can find him. Is that a problem? Not a problem. Hitting from the back. Nicky, damn it, even pay again. She said better pull out like a pull from H&M. He said you a good girl. Zip it shut, aren't you? And that's the same thing I'm told at every barbecue. Tell me I was in that bank, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Wait, she took me You guys do that bro what the fuck bro i've never been a type homie that ever did that bro if i ever you know slept with a girl or done whatever i did with a girl i never told my homeboys i kept that ish to myself you feel me but now go and tell your homies what's that only gonna do it's just gonna make you think you using me for as you know just and then it's like you probably lost the woman on your dreams if it is the woman of your dreams just because you be talking hella whack talk to your homies bro keep that to yourself man what? Why are you gonna tell your homies? Like, what they got to do with you clapping cheeks? Stupidness, bro. <laughs> Just to make you look big, but at the end of the day, that don't make you look big. As you know, if you hit so much coochie, what? 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 <laughs> Kids use protection. Erica. See, it's been two years, little man is growing up. But mama's got to cope without his daddy showing up. She can't believe it. She got to raise his kid unassisted, thinking, here we go. Sadly, yet again, one of those stupid statistics, man. Another black daddy is statistic, and she vowed you would never have a son or a daughter to a man with resemblance to her own fucking father. Shit is crazy. She said, who that at the door? It better not be that nigga I was talking to before. Because I know that that man I was talking to before doesn't have a fucking nerve. You tell him, bruh. B Mike's going hard in the lyrics with this shit. It was the inner world. Then she opens up the door to see the father of the child. Slaps her in the jaw. Says, You want to make the. Bro, what the hell is wrong with you guys out here, bro? Why are you going to hit a woman like that, bro? Freaking hell, man. You guys really do get on my titties. Man's with the slitter in my hand. Who the fuck are you to try to put me on the stand? Should have went down to the clinic. And then she said, 300 fucking dollars. That's the cost of being living. A living, breathing human. Instead, you're just assuming how the fuck can he say that shit? He's got your blood flowing through him. Shit, you're gonna mentally and emotionally leave him fucking ruined. Do you even know the impact of this shit you're doing? Try to make me understand, cause ain't no way 
stated in the mirror, you can call yourself a man. Facts. Facts. I, like I said yet again, I'm not that type of homie if I did have a child with a senorita ma. I would definitely look after what's mine. You know what I'm saying? Never leave them to grow up, uh, you know, with one parent. And I kind of feel some type of way. And another thing, like arguing in front of your child, I think some certainness should be like not in front of your child. I just wouldn't want them to see certain arguments in ish. Not to say it'll turn violent, because I'm not that type of person. I like to talk things out calmly. But, um, man, some of you guys need to grow up. It's just not about busting in coochie and running off and doing repeatedly. That's, that's not a man. I don't even know what to call that, bruh. I know some of y'all, you know, got married, been married, had a child and moved on. That's something different now. I'm talking about these crazy local guys that just bust in raw. And keep going round and round and round. Don't you know you could catch something, bro? Don't you know you could have like million kids out there? And you like you gotta think about your pocket. Do you really think you could survive paying rent? You know what I'm saying? Paying for your kid or all these other kids that you potentially may have. And still save up for the future. But there's hell a lot of broke ass mofos out here that be breeding and keep the culture going or whatever they wanna call it. I ain't got no money to survive. Just end up in jail and shit, doing something stupid like selling drugs. Now this guy ain't normal. Bringing out a strap, are you for real? That's a We're dealing with a woman, bruh. A woman that probably can't even, you know, helpless to self defense herself. And you bringing out a strap in front of your freaking kid, bruh. You freaking pissing me off now. What? You gonna shoot your own child, you stupid ass mofo? Uh, bro, if any of you guys ever been, uh, like, been in this guy's shoes, this ombre ride chair, bro, you guys are mad in the freaking head, bro. How are you gonna do something like that? Bro, I'm out, man. I'm so freaking out of here, bro. I'm so freaking out of here, bro. I'm so freaking out of here, bro. <sighs> Oh, now you look scared. Stupid ass motherfucker. See, this is what happens when you be taking stupid ish or be doing st or thinking a bit too much. You be like this idiot. You do stupid things, bro. Just take shit easy, bro. Down, he can't believe his eyes. He collapses to the ground. And he heard that crying for the first time in his life. Wish he could turn back time. That's hot, she said, man. I ain't a real man. She ain't lying. Cause Lord, I took a life, so in exchange, take mine. Little man, I'm sorry that I couldn't make you happy. But trust me, you don't want me as a daddy. I wish I could take it back, but believe I do. I took your mama's life, now I'ma take mine too. Oh! Oh! All in front of the freaking kid, bro. What is wrong with these people these days, bro? I'm sure. Certain situations like this in, in, on earth has happened, bro. This is freaking crazy, heartbreaking. What the freaking hell? I like, bro, I feel like, I ain't emotional like y'all know, but my eye could, like, tear up for this this kid, man. I know this is a story ain't real, but y you know what I'm saying? This potentially, this has happened. This does happen. But it's heartbreaking, man. Heartbreaking, bro. I could really shed a tear right now, bro. This is tough. Bro. Wow, I'm lost for words. This is just something that no uh, a human on earth should go through. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, bruh. My heart has like literally dropped into my stomach. I feel sick. I literally feel sick. B Mike, a big salute. That was uh, an interesting song, something different. I do like stories from time to time, hitting up, you know, reality. Uh, I do like hitting up positivity most time. 
but you know sometimes we can't hide the fact of certain situations out there we gotta get this more aware we gotta be more aware of certain situations man you never know your next door neighbor could be going through hard times you know and saying just look out for each other and it's like that <sighs> but from here on i'm out yo